This rock child is rocket child. Rocket child. Rocket child. <laughs> it's rocket child. Rocket child. Yeah. Commission art giveaway at 2,000 subs. Subscribe now, please. Hello everyone, I'm Rocket Child and welcome to this video on how I made decorative plates. I started this project last year in 2020 and I was inspired by the decorative story plates by an artist called Bjorn Winlad and wanted to make my own version using my own stories as inspiration. At first I thought of what it would take to make proper ceramic plates. However, I don't really have the resources to do that. To do ceramics, you would first either have to get unfired plates or to make your own and then get some glaze paints to draw on your design and put them into a kiln to fire. I don't really have access to those resources and at that time last year, most places were in lockdown. So I had to be resourceful and think how else could I make these plates? I needed an alternate method and so I thought why don't I do mixed media? I experimented with different techniques, methods, and materials and made my own version of decorative plates. And in the end they worked out really nice. It took me a few weeks to complete the plates because I had a few challenges. My apartment's quite small and experimenting with the materials was a bit difficult. I used a lot of liquid resin and you need to use it in an area with good ventilation and also a even room temperature so that they could dry. And at the time it was winter and some days were like 2 degrees Celsius and so it was very difficult to get the resin to dry in such cold temperature. In the end, they came out nicely and I'm happy that I gave the experiment a go. Actually, I already uploaded some of the designs onto this channel. I first drew all the designs onto my computer using my drawing tablet and even created a few speed drawing videos as well. So I'll put the links in the cards so that you could see them if you like. This video is not so much of a tutorial, but rather a documentation of my art making process. There is a lot of experimenting and trying different techniques. And sometimes it takes a while and sometimes it's fast. And I think it gives a nice accurate, and I think it shows a nice perspective on how artworks aren't always perfect on the first go. And sometimes you need to try different things and take some time to experiment with different techniques before going ahead. Anyway, let's go and watch the video. <laughs> this afternoon, I went and printed the plate designs onto a sticker sheet paper. So you can see that peel off the edge. And then I'm going to cut them out and put them on the plates. Next, I got some plates from the shops, cleaned them up, and I cut out the sticker sheets. These were printed approximately 19.5 centimeters in diameter. So, then not perfect, but it's close enough. When they're flat, it fits well, but if you look at the shape of the plate, how it has a dip in the middle, pushing the drawing creates these puckering bits. So when putting on the stickers, I need to be able to make cuts so that the air can escape and that it would fit better. Cutting 
period so they don't pucker so cutting Another one down here. Yeah. To the side. Smells pretty good. Now we want to peel off some of the sticker. Using the blade of my knife, I can just get right in there. Peel away some of it. Get to our middle dot. Close it up. So you put the paper bit down first to position it, and then the sticker bit. Pushing down, pushing down. Some puckers here so I can use the knife. Make another cut and then push out the air towards the side. So we still have our paper on these other bits. So let's try and put some more off. Best to work a little bit at a time so you can have more control. Going back in with my knife to take, lift up the paper, peel it further across. Peeling, peeling. Lift it up here. So lightly position it. Puckering, use the knife, cut a slit. Push 
the air towards the outside. Going back with the knife to lift up the paper. Press down. Here we have puckering again. This one's slow. Oop. I kind of set that up because it does tear, but try and gently layer the pieces back. Okay. On the inside, we're pushing out.
going back over the image and pushing any air bubbles out and making sure that the sticker is properly on. This seems all right for now. Okay. Next, I want to use a sealant because I don't want the color from the ink to spread. Um, you can use proper sealant, but I am going to use hairspray. So, put the plate or whatever in a place that has good ventilation and just lightly mist it from a distance. You don't want to overly saturate it so that it does the opposite and makes the image too wet. Just want just enough. We'll see if this works later on. For the decoration part, I've got some sequins and some glitter gels and some glitter powders. Um, so I guess the first step is to figure out kind of what I want. Some glitter for the dress here. So I've got this blue or silver, maybe, maybe the silver. Um, I've got a piece of cardboard so that I can put the glitter directly on here. Now I don't really have a brush with me here at the moment so I'm just using my finger and Softly dabbing onto the areas that I want to put the glitter. Like everything, I suppose, it's easier to put less on and build it up than to put too much and take off. Also, this kind of glue makes the paper pucker, so it's best not to use, to saturate it too much. So that's how dabbing kind of helps a bit. I'm going to put some sequins on these dots here. So got some glue and then put it on to the cardboard. Take sequin Got 
some tweezers to help me. So it'll sort of be like that. Just dab a bit of glue on. Put it on top. I could put the glue directly onto the plate, but because the paper is so absorbent and because the glue bottle there's not as much control, it could make too much of a mess and spill in places I don't want it to go. So Push it on so it stays good. I want to just try something. So I have a glue stick. And I want to see how well it works when I use the, the powder glitter. So I want to put a little bit on my hands and then sprinkle it on so it's not too much, just a little bit. Some more the powder glitter, sprinkle it on lightly. glue stick is making the paper pucker a little bit, but it's a bit drier than just the, the wetter glue. Gonna blow to make sure that there's an even-ish spread. You sprinkle with your hands rather than directly from the bottle to avoid just getting a clump in one spot. So then place the sequin down where you want it so you can see whether you like it and whether you want to move it somewhere else. So here is okay. Dab it in the glue. down, press it, press it into position. These sequins have kind of an iridescent glow, but you don't really know what how it looks unless you see the way it reflects the light to know whether it works or not. So let's try. Again, put some glue here, wipe it off. Craft glue tends to dry clear, so it's all right. It's stuck on the top.
sometimes it's best to hold that bottle next to the artwork to be able to estimate properly whether you like the colors or not so glue stick again on the flowers Using the white glitter for a little bit, your hands, and then dust it on. So then blow away the excess glitter. See, it's very subtle. Kind of white color. I think I might want to do some here on the crystal castle. So put some glue on here again. Gently pushing down some of the paper that is rising because of the moisture. Don't want to touch it directly because don't want to touch it directly because it's not dry. But just bits that I can pushing the air through the sides. Next, I kind of just want to go around the edges. I've got a gold pen that I got today, so I have not used it before. It's supposed to be paint, so you shake it up and then want to press down so that the ink can start coming into the tip. There you go. So, I'm gonna test a little bit on the edge, see how it looks. Yeah, not bad. So
Next, what else have we got? Got some more glitter. So, want to choose something to put on the frame. Focus, players. Focus. Okay. There we go. Hold up the glitter next to it. Not bad. Very matchy. And then I also got some chunky flakes that we could use. Maybe it's the same doo doo. It's the same brand. Anyway, I think we'll go with some of the chunky, chunky glitter first. Glue stick again. I want to be going on to the outer rim. Just getting this glue. Some in the hands, sprinkle it on, sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. Okay, because the plate is sloping downwards, all the glitter is sloping down. What a mess! It's all over the places I don't want it to be. That's okay, because it's kind of. Hello graphic and cool. So just sprinkle some more down. Next, what do you have a glitter? Gold kind of glitter. Tend to work fast because you don't want the glue drying too fast. So sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. Tapping the side, can also move them around. Even with the glitter sort of moving further in, it doesn't really disturb the emission much. It just gives it a nice little hollow sheen, so that's nice. I want to spray this another time with the hairspray. You don't really need to set the glitter or the glue, but I just want to be sure that once I put the resin, it's going to keep the image, I think. Now that all the glitter has been put in place, we're going to put a coat of liquid resin to seal it and make it shinier. So this is the the first plate I did, which was a test. I'm actually going to put another coat of resin on top because I don't think it's deep enough in some places. It's still a bit rough where the sequins are coming out, but that's the overall effect. And here I've got some glitter as well to mix into the liquid resin to give it an extra layer of shine. So for the resin, I got this kind from the hardware with the with the Cura. It's a uh, it's pretty stinky. So my suggestion is to use gloves and a mask so you're not breathing in the fumes and then afterwards if you can to put all the resin coated things outside so you're not smelling it for me i'm probably going to put it in the shower so that the bathroom fan can suck up all that goodness i also have like a plastic sheet here 
uh, to protect my table. Um, I've got some plastic picnic cups to measure and um, as well little sh plastic shot glasses as well. So a shot should be around 30 milliliters and each line is one shot. So 30, 60, 90, 120, 150, 180, 210 something like that but since the plate it, I just want like a thin coating at least for now rather than going the whole surface I think I'll mix about one shot first um, or at least for each plate because all of them are prepared with glitter that I think would suit the palette. How I'll do it is I'll use a cup as a mixing container and measure the resin with the little shot glass and put in some of the hardener. I think it has about 10 drops to 30 milliliters depending if it's room temperature right now I think outside was seven degrees so therefore you have to take into account more or less hardening solution depending on the temperature of your environment. I also have um, plastic picnic spoons for mixing. When the resin cures it cures really solidly um, which means that if you use normal utensils, they are going to be stuffed. Probably not the most environmentally friendly method if you are repeating this method a lot. If someone who works with resin more often has better tips, please write down in the comments and share. Because this is the best I could do at the moment. And it's cheap because you get big packs for like a dollar. Open up our smelly resin. Put on my mask and my gloves. It's so hard to do with gloves because I need accuracy. Take up my cup. A uh, little bit of glitter. What are we doing? I'll put a little bit of glitter in now. With my free hand. Next, put some of the resin, fill up. Just pour this in. I'm 
mix in some of the glitter. So from my measurements, if I want to put this to dry outside, I would need about 19 drops of curant. Uh, read the suggestion uh, read the instructions on your own resin because they're all different but anyway one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen okay done Mix it up again. It's pretty shiny and glittery. So now I'm going to move this to the side. Put the plate here so you can see it. So I put the sealant on a few times, so hopefully it is good enough that the colors don't run. So I'm pouring from up high to hopefully minimize the bubbles. So now holding the edges, just want to swirl it around a little bit. So because of the shape of the plate, it's going to fall down the edges and pull in the center. So at the very least, I need to get some of the coverage on the edges as best as I can it's kind of unavoidable um, I think when we make the cuts in the paper so that the sticker sheet can fit on the plate butter it opens up gaps and so the moisture is going inside of the gaps so just move slowly so it gets towards the edges without falling off Every time we circle around, we'll try and get a bit closer to that edge. Ah, you see, that's why I got gloves.
so there's still quite a lot of resin left and as I said if you leave it be it's going to pool in the center which I think is not that bad to be honest you can see already that it's got a gloss so I'm putting this down and I'll put this outside to get on my face or put it in the shower so it could use the vent and um, we'll go from there had to change gloves because when you have gloves get too sticky then you'll get resin all over all the places you don't want it to be on the first time I put resin it took forever to dry because I didn't put enough curant so this one has got like extra cure in it to make up for like the cold temperature but now I think it's getting a bit thick so it is drying much faster so you've got to be a little bit fast to make sure that you've got the right areas all coated properly here I am going back with the spoon just hoping to put it into corners and things over here is actually a chip you can see properly I don't know so we want to get a little bit to fill in this gap here we go fill it in see here like the rest of it's been coated again looks all nice so I'm gonna put this outside to dry so now I put the baking paper on the floor and then the plates on top so that they can dry outside
Thanks everyone for your kindness and support. Please consider donating on my Buy Me a Coffee page, buymeacoffee.com forward slash rocket 1111 child. The funds will go towards growing this channel and creating more art projects and videos. Anyway, thanks for watching.